it's time to tell a tale. My name is Juki Davy, but you can just call me Juki. Have you ever heard the story of the three little pigs, where the little pigs try to build their houses, but the big bad wolf tries to huff and puff and blow their houses down? Well, this story is a lot like that story, but a little bit different. This is the story of the Three Little Wolves and the Big Bad Pig by Eugene Trevises and Helen Oxenbury. Now, for this story, there's a very special hat I want to wear. So let me just get my magic wand. <laughs> all right, are we all ready for the story? The Three Little Wolves and the Big Bad Pig. Once upon a time, there were three cuddly little wolves with soft fur and fluffy tails who lived with their mother. The first was black, the second was gray, and the third was white. One day, the mother called the three little wolves around her and said, My children, it is time for you to go out into the world. Go and build a house for yourselves. But beware of the big bad pig. Don't worry, mother. We will watch out for him, said the three little wolves, and they set off. Soon, they met a kangaroo who was pushing a wheelbarrow full of red and yellow brick. Please, will you give us some of your bricks? Asked the three little wolves. Certainly, said the kangaroo, and she gave them lots of red and yellow bricks. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of bricks. The very next day, the big bad pig came crawling down the road and saw the house of bricks that the little wolves had built. The three little wolves were playing croquet in the garden. When they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside the house and locked the door. The pig knocked on the door and grunted. Little wolves, little wolves, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. By the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in. Not for all the tea leaves in our china pot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed. But the house didn't fall down. But the pig wasn't called the big and bad pig for nothing. He went and fetched his sledgehammer and he knocked the house down. <laughs> only just managed to escape before the bricks crumbled and they were very frightened indeed. We shall have to build a stronger house, they said. Just then they saw a beaver who was mixing concrete in a concrete mixer. Please, will you give us some of your concrete? asked the three little wolves. Certainly, said the beaver and he gave them buckets and buckets full of messy, slurry concrete. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of concrete. No sooner had they finished than the big bad pig came crawling down the road and saw the house of concrete that the little wolves had built. They were playing battle door and shuttlecock in the garden and then they saw the big bad pig coming they ran inside their home and shut the door. The pig rang the bell, ding ding, and said, Little frightened wolves, let me in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. By the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in. Not for all the tea leaves in our china pot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed. But the house didn't fall down. 
The pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He went and fetched his pneumatic drill and smashed the house down. <laughs> the three little wolves managed to escape. But their chinny chin chins were trembling and trembling and trembling. We shall build an even stronger house, they said, because they were very determined. Just then, they saw a truck coming along the road carrying barbed wire, iron bars, armor plates, and heavy metal padlocks. Please, will you give us some of your barbed wire, a few iron bars and armor plates, and some heavy metal padlocks? They said to the rhinoceros who was driving the truck. Sure! said the rhinoceros, and he gave them plenty of barbed wire, iron bars, armor plates, and some heavy metal padlocks. He also gave them plexiglass and some reinforced steel chains because he was a generous and kind-hearted rhinoceros. <laughs> so, the three little wolves built themselves an extremely strong house. It was the strongest, securest house one could possibly imagine. They felt absolutely safe. The next day, wouldn't you know it, the big bad pig came crawling along the road as usual. The three little wolves were playing hopscotch in the garden. When they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside their house, bolted the door, and locked all 37 padlocks. The pig dialed the entrance phone and said, Little frightened wolves with the trembling chins, let me come in. No, 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 said the little wolves. By the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in. Not for all the tea leaves in our china pot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed. Oh, and he puffed and he huffed. <laughs> but the house did not fall down. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He brought some dynamite, laid it against the house, lit the fuse, and... just managed to escape with their fluffy tails scorched. Howie, something must be wrong with our building materials, they said. We have to try something different, but what? At that moment, they saw a flamingo coming along pushing a wheelbarrow full of flowers. Please, will you give us some flowers? Asked the little wolves. With pleasure, said the flamingo, and he gave them lots of flowers. So the three little wolves built themselves a house full of flowers. Wow. One wall was of marigolds, one of daffodils, one of pink roses, and one of cherry blossoms. My favorite. The ceiling was made of sunflowers. The floor was a carpet of daisies. They had water lilies in their bathtub and buttercups in their refrigerator. It was a rather fragile house and it swayed in the wind and it was very beautiful. Next day, the big bad pig came crawling down the road and saw the house of flowers that the three little wolves had built. He rang the blue bell at the door and said, Little frightened wolves with the trembling chins and the scorched tails, let me in! No, 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 said the three little wolves. By the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china pot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the big bad pig. But as he took a deep breath, ready to huff and puff, 
He smelled the soft scent of the flowers. It was fantastic! And because the scent was so lovely, the pig took another breath. And then another. Instead of huffing and puffing, he began to sniff. He sniffed deeper and deeper until he was quite filled with the fragrant scent. His heart grew tender and he realized how horrible he had been. Right then, he decided to become a big good pig. He started to sing and dance the tarantella. first, the three little wolves were a bit worried. It might be a trick, but soon they realized that the pig had truly changed. So they came running out of their house. They started playing games with him. First, they played pig pong, then piggy in the middle, and when they were all tired, they invited him in the house. They offered him tea and strawberries and wolf berries and asked him to stay with them as long as he wanted. The pig accepted and they all lived happily ever after. The end. I hope you all enjoyed our story today. I think we can learn a couple of things from this story. Sometimes people can change for the better. We have to think outside the box in order to solve problems. Oh, and I almost forgot. I still have my construction hat on. <laughs> Better put that away. There we go. If you enjoyed our story time today, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any other good stories. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed yourself. I will see you next time when it's time to tell a tale. Goodbye, everyone.